Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vodka here with another CBS2 video. This time, it's gonna be about Yamazaki, uh, specifically a Yamazaki. As inspired by Boss, I decided to try to pick up Yamazaki, but first, we need to practice his A bread and butter custom combo where he does the corner carry. If he hits it from anywhere on the screen, you have to be able to corner carry the person to the corner to get the most damage out of his custom combo. And this is actually one of, I would say, one of the harder combos that uh, you have to do in this game. Mostly because of a lot of little variations and just a lot of little bits of it that you can mess up and drop the combo. So it's really easy to drop and you have to practice it a lot, I think, to get it very consistent. And in this video, I just want to go over the little things that, you know, as I was practicing the combo and little things I noticed that I was making mistakes on and little things I had to make corrections on in order to get the combo. And uh, you have to make sure you do your inputs very cleanly, as always, with CBS2. And let's get into the different portions of the combo that makes it quite difficult to do. So first, I'll show you guys what the combo looks like. Alright, so first thing I like to cover when starting the custom combo is that you want to start with light kick into a roundhouse sweep to knock him into a juggle state. So this is a pretty easy uh, one too, but you still have to time it, so you have to press the buttons kind of fast. And it doesn't work if you're pressing it too fast, so you need to get the timing correct. If you press it too slow, then they can block it like this. So that's if you press it too slow, right? So one, two, back, one, two. That's how you want to do that. Once you get that down, you want to, right after you hit roundhouse, you want to do a uh, light punch knife into a medium punch knife. So it should look like that. So I would practice that alone by itself. What I do is break up each piece and practice them by themselves, then try to string them together. So what you need to focus on is that when you're doing the DP motion, you're not getting the down forward on your first down. If you, you, you do it wrong, then you get the super. So what happens is that oftentimes when I first started, I would get the super by accident. So, oh, actually, can I use it one second? So instead of getting that right, I would get a super. Yeah, I'd get something like that, right? So you don't want that. And if you're getting that, that means you're hitting down forward on the first DP motion. Because you get a, then you get a quarter circle forward motion with the down and then down the board. Then which triggers the super. So make sure it's down, forward, and then and then down, down, forward to get the knife. Okay. And then after that, after you end in down, forward, and then punch, you see so you finish the forward and then push down and down, forward, and then punch. So it should look like that with the inputs. Practice until you get that right. So now you're ready to link it together with uh, the sweep. Now what happens is if you're pressing punch too early during CC, if you do the DP motion and press punch too early, you're going to get a cracking jab. So, you're going to get like this. Like that. that. If that happens, that means you press the punch button too early. So you need to make sure you're finished the motion, then press the punch button. So that happens too. When you mess up, you might end up with like crouching medium punch. Like oftentimes that happens if I'm not pushing down into down forward for the second part of the knife. Also, as you see right there, I hit the knife too early on the medium knife. If you hit it too early, it's gonna whiff. So you have to delay it a little bit. That's another tricky part. So that's tricky part, I guess, let's sum it up. For the beginning tricky parts, the tricky part is to get the knife out into the light knife and the medium knife. Right? And make sure your input's correctly to get it. And the medium knife can't be too early. See, I got the deep, I got the fireball moving there, so I got I just get the second knife. So a lot of little things to mess up in this spot. See? I didn't get ending down forward, so I got the like the standing jab, so that's another way to mess it up. After you do the medium knife, you need to roll. But you can't roll until the knife hits. So a lot of times what I've been messing up with is I hit the roll too early, and then he doesn't roll, he doesn't he just stands there. So it's there. 
there. I hit it too early. That's, that happens a lot to me, so I need to remember to, to, to delay the, the roll right after the knife. And that's another timing thing. So there you go, that's the timing for the roll. And you see right there, after the roll you want to do crouching hard punch into another roll. And the, the roll, again, will only activate once the hard punch hits. And uh, on the second roll, you saw me mess up and actually got crouch jab. Because for some reason, during CC, I find it really hard to consistently hit the roll. Where sometimes I would just get a button, and I don't know why. Like, if you get something like that or something. But even that should get your roll, but sometimes it doesn't happen. So I find it kind of hard that way, so that's another like hard part. But uh, crouch fierce into rolls. That's uh, very specific timing, I and mean, it just takes practice to get it. So you have to make sure that the hit of the crouch gear hits, then you can roll. And then you carry them towards the corner. And then we'll review what happens in the corner. Alright, now let's do the combo and do the corner carry with crouch gears into rolls and carry them in the corner, and then I'll explain what to do in the corner. So, right there, when you got to the corner, you want to do a crouch light punch right after the crouch fears. So right after the crouch fears hits, you want to do light crouch light punch. Because that actually cancels the rest of the recovery of this move. So that you can jump in the air and hit him. Jump fears. Like that. Even then, that has like a timing to it. If you're hitting the crouch jab too early, then uh, it's not going to come out because you need. it only happens, remember, in, in a custom combo that you can't get to the next move until your current move hits. You need to wait for the Crouch Fears hit, then jump. Alright, let's see how we end the combo. So you do a bunch of Jump Fierces, as many as you have meter for. Right now the meter is on infinite, but you'll see. I think you get... Usually, I get um, after two crouch fears rolls, I can jump twice and then into the close standing around house into the super. Like, that's enough time. I think with three crouch fears, you might just get one jump into that, or maybe two jumps and immediately in super. But you just have to see. I have to get used to uh, the different variations still. But the, the I think the standing around house gives you time to buffer the super and it makes it really easy. I mean, you can also go directly into the super. I don't know which one does more damage yet, but I just have to play around with it. But that's pretty much the combo. So remember all the little bits and pieces. So one more time is the crouch light kick, crouch roundhouse into the air, the double knife, and then into the roll, into the this stuff. And then crouch fierce into the crouch light punch to cancel into jumps. So and then the, the juggles with the jump pierces, land in the close roundhouse and then into the super. And that's it. I hope that's uh, breakdown will help you guys a little bit and teach you about all the little gotchas that I had to face learning this combo and I'm still not good at it yet so I will have to practice it for quite a while I think before I get comfortable with it. And also you want to practice from P1 side, which I am also practicing and not nearly even as good as the P2 side, even though I still stink at the P2 side. So good luck you guys with practicing this combo and I hope like this video can help you figure out if you're doing it wrong or just not getting the timing of it. So hopefully you can like definitely always look at your inputs. Have your inputs on to make, make sure you're looking at it. Most likely you're not hitting down somewhere, you're not hitting the corner somewhere, or you're hitting the corner where you're not supposed to. So those are the things to look for. Or you're hitting the button too early. So yeah. So keep practicing guys and thanks for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Give this video a like and then subscribe to my channel. And have a good day.